Hey, Bob, are you any sight to the dynamic test? No, man, I have no energy. That's real tough, man. Wanna go upstairs and grab some potential energy? I guess that could work. All right. So I weigh a lean 200 pounds, which converted to metric system is 90 kilograms. My initial velocity is zero. My initial height is zero. There is no spring. So when calculating the initial energy, we have one half times mass times velocity squared plus the mass times gravity times height. Since my velocity and height are both equal to zero, I have no energy, which means I'm going to fail my test. As you guys saw before, Bob has no energy, so his only hope to pass his test is to find some energy. In this case, we found some potential energy by going all the way up to the 14th floor in Coronado. As you can see, work done from point one to point two is equal to force times distance. In this case, our distance is 51 millimeters, sorry, and our force is equal to Bob's mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So 90 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. To find the work, we multiply that number by 51 meters. In this case, our work from point one to point two is equal to 45 kilojoules, which means that the total energy added to Bob's system is 45 kilojoules. Now, Bob has a chance to pass this test. Thanks to all that extra energy and a daily serving of Cheerios with 100% whole grain oats, I now think I can pass dynamics.